The dramatic ending to a deadly police chase caught on camera in Las Cruces. Several law enforcement agencies hunting down a man accused of shooting and killing a New Mexico State police officer near Deming. Now, new tonight at 10, we are getting a look at that officer killed. Deming State Representative Candy Sweetser has identified him as Officer Darian Jarrett. Tonight, the suspect is dead, but there are still many questions surrounding this deadly chase. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Daniel Muddy. And I'm Natasha Paloma. Here's what we do know. The series of events began in Luna County between Deming and Las Cruces during a traffic stop. That's where investigators say the suspect, Omar Felix Cueva, shot and killed the officer. Multiple agencies then chased after the suspect's vehicle to the Las Cruces area, where it came to an end on I-10 near Avenida de Mesilla. We have some exclusive aerial video only on 9 tonight. This is from our sister station, KRQE's helicopter. It's a look at where the chase ended. You can see the chaos left behind from that deadly pursuit. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap spoke with witnesses, including the man who captured the incredible cell phone video. In this video, you can see the moment when the driver of the white truck starts firing a gun right at the police. At least a dozen gunshots rang out and could be heard between police and the driver of the truck. You heard him hit the spike strips. You could hear the tires pop. And he just started, he went sideways about a thousand feet away from us and just went sideways down the road. Austin Contreras captured the video on his phone. He was working nearby I-10 when he saw everything happen. Oh, before it was even stopped, like it was still sliding and he jumped out and ran to the back and he was already sh shooting at the cop. Contreras says he was scared but kept recording. I mean, none of my guys or me expected that to happen. Like now, being hours later, everything sets in, it, it's, it's scary. I mean, many of us could have died. Another man who lives right by I-10 tells KTSM he heard everything. I was standing outside my house and I just heard pop, 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 a bunch of gunshots and came over to where it happened here off of I-10. It was pretty scary. I don't, I don't think anybody likes to hear that. According to Las Cruces police, at least one of their officers was shot during the pursuit. He was taken to a hospital in El Paso with non-life threatening injuries. The suspect was pronounced dead at the scene and the Las Cruces Police Department tells KTSM they are assisting the New Mexico State Police with the investigation. Shelby Cap, KTSM 9 News. Mexico Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham is ordering flags to fly at half staff starting tomorrow to honor the fallen officer who was killed in the line of duty. Flags will be ordered to be flown at half staff through Tuesday evening. And Governor Lujan Grisham expressing sorrow. She sent a statement to our newsroom late this afternoon. It reads in part, I am shocked, heartbroken, and enraged by this loss of a public servant. I am praying for the local officer who was also shot and injured. And Las Cruces Mayor Ken Miyagashima released this statement on social media. He writes, quote, I often think of our LCPD officers as my daughters and sons. We had one injured yesterday and one today. Please keep them and their families in your prayers. The other officer 